David Camacho. David Camacho is Kyle Ham. He's tapping, that is all she wrote. Despite being early in their fighting careers, they have a history that goes back almost a year and more tension than your average amateur fight. Camacho won his XFN belt in August 2021. He wouldn't defend it for over a year, as he spent time touring the world, fighting in Abu Dhabi and Mexico. During that time, a new face burst onto the scene. Kyle Hamill put together a three-fight winning streak that saw him win XFN's interim bantamweight belt, David Camacho's belt, and now he couldn't be ignored. All respect to David Camacho, but he left for a reason. He doesn't want to fight me, guys. I swear. He, he's not, he doesn't want this work. He doesn't want this money work. I'm telling y'all. All respect to him. Like I said, he's a good person. You know, I get motivation from him, but he's not on my level. No one's on this level. Camacho recognized this, knowing he needed a win over Hamill to cement himself as the champ. For sure, gonna uh, defend my title against Kyle Hamill. I believe that's in October, so we're five weeks out. Going back to training, I feel healthy, I feel strong, I feel motivated to go in there and do my thing. But it isn't MMA without unexpected twists. December 3rd, 2022. Camacho's teammate Austin Tadlock defeated Kyle Hamill. This wasn't supposed to happen. Tadlock was coming off a tough loss to Ethan Goff. And Hamill was undefeated, riding into that fight off two first round submissions that year. But it happened, and now the situation had changed. Camacho would have two months with Tadlock, preparing for the same foe his teammate just bested. And now Hamill would face a new obstacle. A loss. A motivation to beat that team. A motivation to get that loss back. A motivation to beat Camacho. Camacho, on the other hand, has more than enough motivation to defeat him. In a poll of bantamweights, Hamill was voted ahead of Camacho as the best in the weight class. Despite being the champ, Camacho still had something to prove. Some still viewed him as the underdog. Camacho has taken note of past times Hamill and others have accused him of running. It's interesting. Um, I guess people have been saying that because we've been looking to set up this fight before. Um, I'm never scared to fight anyone. But again, I'm really excited to fight Kyle. This is a guy who has high level jujitsu and he's a guy who I really want to fight to test myself before I go professional. Hamill sees this title shot as a road to redemption and says the history motivates him. Yeah, it motivates me more. And especially since I lost to Tadlock and since my boy Chris lost to Camacho, this is a really important fight for me to, you know, get back at Camacho and then work to get that Tadlock, the Tadlock fight back. After trash talk was exchanged by some of Hamill's crew, Tadlock said it would be satisfying to see Camacho pick up a win. Yeah, that, that is the most satisfying thing possible, you know. Um, we're a very humble team, but we work really hard, and we're not afraid of anybody. Camacho had his own message to the trash talk. What I noticed uh, most recently, it's more so his friends, his, uh, his posse who talks more shit than he does. You know, so at the end of the day, to all his little friends, all his little followers, until you decide to step up in the cage and do this yourself, I really don't give a fuck what you have to say. Hamill says this time he's expecting pressure and he's ready to give it back. I know Camacho's a striker. He's going to want to try to put the pressure on me. I'm thinking about putting the pressure on him, taking him down, smashing him. But on January 28th, only one thing will matter, and both fighters expect a win. David, the Bogota Bruiser!